All right, a six-man tag team match that was substantially better than the Violence Unlimited nonsense for the Ring of Honor World Six-Man Tag Team Champions Shane Taylor promotion. It still wasn't all that good, though. It wasn't. It wasn't good, but it was better in comparison. I mean, okay, come on. You you can you can get Drew McIntyre <laughs> in the club versus. Um, Versus uh, Jinder Mahal and Veer and Shanky and still have a better six-man tag than the We've seen way. a better six-man tag with those guys in it. Mick! Um, but yes, LFI, where... Um, La uh, Faxion Ingma Mable. <laughs> Every time I hear that, I feel like he's like doing that on purpose. No, Pina Gallery cannot say Ingo Bernable. It's the I cannot pronounce thing. in a fast pace. Ingo Bernable. He has to Ingo literally. Bernable. He has to literally sound it out I like do. a child. I do. I am child. <laughs> and the, the weirdest thing is, he can he can literally say anybody's name in Spanish totally fucking fine when we do uh when we do like CMLL or triple A. But for some reason, when we go to Ingo Bernable, he like falls Ingo Bernable. It's so fucking weird. Anyway, um, the match itself was fine. Uh, Shane Taylor was taken out, so um, O'Shea Edwards came in. I don't understand the point of it, but at the same time, it was fine. It was fine. There, there was a eh. better, there, there was a better way to do that. We'll talk about that when we make Pro Wrestling Majestic again. But it was a chair shot by once again fucking Shane Taylor. So what was the fucking point of this? Right. Um, it was a chair shot to Kenny King. For um, STP to keep the belt. Shane Taylor Promotions. It's not STD. It's STP. I said STP. I know. I'm just reminding the fans <laughs> in the audience here. Yes, and they retained. It was a fine match. It was. It was. Anything. It was. It was forgettable, just like the other. Totally forgettable. Man. But Shane Taylor Promotions obviously continue to bring up these belts, and they're awesome. I love Shane Taylor. They're not Promotions. doing a great job with it, but they're. they're I think they're doing fine. a damn fine job. Eh, but we'll talk about that. I forgot we about it. Anyways, let's. <laughs> All right, Peanut Gallery, let's make this shit magic again. We're starting with the Honor Rumble. Number one, just immediately right off the bat, Brian Zane should not be on commentary. Zero percent <laughs> of that is interesting. Also, the GM of Ring of Honor Television should be fired, and so should the head booker, because they're terrible. This match was awful. It, I mean, it was whatever. I mean, at least it was on oh a Oh, my show. God. I can give you a million things that <laughs> happened that was so poorly booked. Also, who's producing this shit? <laughs> Mick! <laughs> Um, I couldn't have booked this one better. Zero. I would have done No, no, no. This better. was like one of the highlights of my night. This was the best match of the night. I have to agree which, with you. Which was utterly terrible. Not mm. this match, but like the night in general was just terrible. You didn't like this show? I... <sighs> I liked the show. I did not. I it was it was it was worse than their last show was. Jesus. Yeah. Um, okay, here's the thing. <sighs> I wish it was one fall to a finish. Fuck what the hell? Okay, I will say in their defense, this fatal four way elimination thing is a standard in death before dishonor. <sighs> um but here's what the way I that EC3 eliminated himself was terrible. Yes. Um, the other three participants were okay, but the last two were amazing. Yes. Um, again, it should have been a one-on-one -on -one match. If you really wanted the one-on-one -on -one match fetish to happen, then make it happen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, here's what I really like about this, and I will say this in their defense. They set up two really great matches and a lot of great time to build these matches for Final Battle. So why didn't they do it for this one and have the fatal four-way at Final Battle? That's a really good point. I feel like that would have been a little bit better. Had, like, a double count-out thing for Demonic Flamita and EC3. Fuck you, and then, and then have some bullshit thing here with um, Brody King or whatever. Um, I, I personally like the match. I did. Fuck you, Delirious. <laughs> My God, I would I couldn't have booked this better. Zero. I love this. No, there was like zero percent of nothing you could have booked better about this match. Um, I thought the ending um, was great. I well, liked, I thought I, I thought the false finish was terrible. No, I love that. 
I actually loved that. You, yeah, no, I hated that. No, this made this feel better because then Gresham even still looked like the biggest baby face in the world. Where even maybe. Yeah, I can I can kind of see that, but I loved this. And I don't also, know. And also, of any person to I'm take, I'm torn on this. And any person to take this belt off of Jonathan Gresham, who built this division, Josh, Josh Woods, Woods had yep. to be the guy. Mm-hmm. Future, right there. I thought it was great. Yeah, and that's and that's why I love this match. It was because I thought this was perfect. Hmm. Fuck <laughs> this shit. Shane Taylor should not have been taken out of this match. This match should not have happened. <laughs> Here's my thing. Because they had to change two people in the match. Why? That's like one-third of the people. And Okay, so number one, Roosh's thing was actually a thing. But I don't care. Shane, they should have. No, no, no. Wait, here's, here's my problem. Shane Taylor came back in the match and attacked Kenny King. Why? Here's because of reasons. Here's my thing. This shouldn't have happened. They, they said that fucking Dragon Lee... And goddamn, um, uh, Kenny King, there we go, won the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, right? Why did you not have a Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship match? I would have rather with had that. Moses and Khan right. taking on, um, Kenny King and Dragon League. Yeah, that would have been my thing. That, that, that would have been, been, like, the first instinct right there and then have um bessia del ring and um shane taylor at ringside exactly that would have been so much better it was so much better so much better i'm sorry bessia I'm, del I'm, ring. I'm sorry delirious but we're just booking the fuck out of you go the fuck home we're we're, we're, si- we're sitting here trashing your own shit because i'm i, I love this team i love the shane taylor promotions but but they, at the same time broke away from it should have been rouge yeah i'm sorry and it's not his fault, but at the same time, come they, on. They broke away from it, and Bessie and, Adele, Bessie and, they, Adele and they shit themselves in the corner. Here. Bessie Adele Ring should not be wrestling. Might as well put a pull up on, shit yourself in the corner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Add, add, add somebody else to La Faction Ingo Bernable so Bessia does not have to wrestle unless exactly. it's absolutely necessary. Exactly. They just they did this for reasons. No one cares. Right, exactly. God, and it, I hate it this sucked. Match. I, I don't like saying that because yeah. I thought that um they were having a really good six person division. Yeah. I love their match at the last pay per view that we had with Castle, Dak Draper, and uh Dalton Castle. I thought e- even then it was eh. No, I still like that match though. It was, I did. It was fine. I mean it just gets worse and worse from here. Let's move on. <laughs> You're just so bitter. I'm I'm just so bitter. I love this match. It was a great opener, but that's about it. <laughs> You're so What's nasty. the point of having this match? There's nothing going into this. Instead of this bullshit, why didn't you have EC3 versus Demonic Flamita? I know, exactly. That would have been a much better match. Like, opener. like what's what's going into Eli Isom versus Flip Gordon? That's not Flip Gordon, that's um Dalton Castle. Thank you. <laughs> Again, I really don't care. So, so what's the point in having this rivalry going into I it? I told you. Their, their former partners have turned on each other like Sho and Yo. So yeah. why but, not but, but, emphasize but, but, that? Right. They did, well, they kind of did. They, they did. They, didn't do, they did a shit job of it. Right. Sho and Yo actually won like titles. If these two like, actually were like teaming for a while and they right. won some titles together, I would have dealt with it. But at the same time, they were only like tag team for like a month. Yeah, no one cares. Right, exactly. Let's move on. Oh, this should have been so much better. So, number one, these teams, they're already established. Why are they facing each other? Because nobody cares. Let's face, like, teams that are just in. How about let's let's face, like, Violence Unlimited and give them a big win or something. Or PCO and Donhausen or something like that. PCO and Steve or whatever the hell fucking No, 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 it was PCO and Donhausen. Sledge is a part of that team too. No one cares about it's a Sledge. Six no one cares about Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about PCO because the chemistry between PCO and Donhausen was very apparent. Right. Within that match, you and I needed, loved it. Right. You needed a you needed a cohesive team. We're not. You we're needed not, something fresh. And here's the thing: we're not shitting on either of these teams, but they're already established. What are you doing? Nobody cares about OGK or the Briscoes as a tag team. Nobody cares. Or against each other. Let's right. have let's have 
OGK facing a new team. Let's have OGK versus Donhausen and PCL. Right, or the Briscoes versus the same, or the Briscoes versus, you know, whatever. And right, exactly. The Briscoes versus um, versus Lions Unlimited, or whatever. Right. Or Shane Taylor. I mean, there's so many teams. Right. But fuck, man, come on. Why? They did not build this correctly. No. There was no build to this. Oh, Nobody my God. Cared. You know, thanks, thanks to Lirius. Right. Fucking asshole. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. Okay. I'm, I'm, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So they built this as a um, two recent releases that face each other. What happened in the match was not their fault. Somebody got hurt. It was kind of like a. Um, it was kind of like a a Brian Myers versus. Um, Matt Cardona. Matt Cardona's horse where they Where they had to end it really quickly because somebody legitimately got hurt. Which is fine. That's right. okay. But here's, here's the thing that I do like. I like that both of these guys are in Ring of Honor. Yes. Um, this I is like the perfect place for them. They would have gotten lost in the shuffle in AEW. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they wouldn't have belonged in um, Impact. No. I feel like Ring of Honor is a perfect place, and also this really bolsters their roster. Right. And I think that's what they need. So I'm very happy that these two signed a contract. It was as unfortunate that they got lost in, in like and, the and some and some and somebody got hurt. Right. Right. Got hurt. It, it doesn't. It doesn't help. No. Now here's another thing that would have been great for this. Instead of these two facing each other. What about either OGK and the Briscoes versus two guys that were released as tag team partners? Right. That would have been a much better introduction. Right. And also, why did they tell us these two before the show? It would have been so much better if they waited until later for the surprise after. Exactly. I didn't even know until they announced it. Wait until the show. That would have been awesome. Yeah, Are you absolutely. Kidding? Yep. 100%. That would have been awesome. Um, this sucked. Yeah, we talked about how much this sucked. Um, the the um the foundations promo went nowhere. I did not care. I didn't care either. Here's the thing. I I legitimately who, who is who is Jonathan Gresham? Fucking Ric Flair? No, Jay Lethal. You're Jay thinking Lethal. about Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal is he? Jay, fu- Jay, well, I guess I guess they did. The, I guess they did do the whoop. Woo woo. The, the woo off, the best thing in that was the best promo in history of wrestling. <laughs> it was awesome, but well, okay, okay. In the context of Ring of Honor, Jay Lethal is the Ric Flair of that promotion. But who the fuck cares? Uh, at the same time, um, what was the po- no? No, it was not the point of Jay Lethal talking. It was what was the point of that happening? There was, was no point. There was a point in time, legitimately, and I am not kidding you. Where I saw that, I'm like, oh my god, Jay Lethal is retiring. I legitimately thought that. <laughs> but it meant nothing. There was <laughs> no, but what was the point? You think Jay Lethal's retiring? You're so cute. We knew, we knew for a fact that all three of these guys oh, are finding the so pure adorable. De- <laughs> you thought Jay Lethal was retiring. Well, okay, he came out here and they're oh, all clapping. No. They're all clapping. He's the only one chanting. We know these guys are good in the pure division. There was no point to this. <laughs> here, okay, okay, here's, here's, here was what I thought immediately as soon as this happened. This company has zero faith with these guys. Zero. Yeah. Because they have the Jay much. Lethal, they had Dr- Jay Lethal and the Foundation come out there. One of the guys that. just signed a contract with AEW. That's a little faith they have in him. And one of them is a former Ring of Honor pure champion already. Yeah. You know what? Here's here's my thing. Here's my thing. I, I think this is exactly what happened. This was a last minute call. Because this match stunk up the room so bad that they had to get the foundation out there to cut a promo to make sure that none of these guys were buried. I can almost guarantee you that was the problem. But Violence Unlimited has already been buried. They're, they're Violence Unlimited sucks. I cannot suck. take them. Other than Brody King, I can take none of them seriously. Yeah, they suck. They were Ring of Honor tag team champions, and they lost them before we knew it. That's true. We didn't even know. P- 
Tyler Height didn't even know they lost until, oh, they lost the Tag Team Champions on RHTV last week. Again, problems with the booking is that Ring of Honor is so irrelevant. Right. Why didn't you show this on the pre-show before they came out there and talked? It's like, wait, when the fuck did Kenny King and Dragon Lee win the Ring of Honor World I, Tag Team I Champions? Know, I know when NWA Champions changed before Ring of Honor Champions changed. That is how irrelevant this fucking this shit is. is. I mean, this was a bad match. Um, they did this out of nowhere. This was a mess. It was, Thank it was terrible. <laughs> Thank God they waited for the final part to have the title matches. Because all the title matches were good to excellent. At the very least. Okay. I mean, goddamn. I mean, Delirious, we just booked your shit in 13 minutes. And I guarantee you booked this for months. And we did it in 13 minutes. Oh my God. And you know for a goddamn fact, you and I can sit here and book... The entire fucking show for months leading up to this goddamn show, and it'd be so much better than what it was. Yeah. Because you're right. To be honest with you, I totally forgot that Homicide and Chris Dickinson were the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions until you just mentioned that. Yeah. No idea. Zero. That's how bad that was. Yeah. It was, it's just, it was just terrible. Bad. Just I, bad. I know. 100%. So, uh, thank you all for listening or watching. If you didn't I know, no, to... I have an idea oh. for... Um, yeah, what's what's going on next week? I have an idea. Okay. Hold on. Because there is no... I'm going to see if they have... Because, uh, you know, Wrestling Observer Newsletter just released her top ten. Right. I wonder if they release any of their awards yet. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, maybe we'll do something with that. I'll, I'll announce it beforehand. I'll we definitely will. will. Um, hold on. Let's take a looky. Let's, well, take, well, let's take a looky wookie. Well, while you're doing that, let they me have not released 2021 awards. Not yet. Not yet. They're getting close. I can almost tell. Yeah. So, um, next week, so either it's going to be the um, award ceremony thing for them, and we'll talk about that in length, or I had an idea about um, going through what makes a great wrestling show. Ooh, that might be interesting, too. So, we have two really good ones. I'll announce it beforehand. So, if you did enjoy this video, or if you're listening to this, remember to like this video or the podcast, subscribe wherever you are, and share it with your friends on all of your social medias. Follow us on ours with the link trees down below, and uh, let us know what you think of Death Before Dishonor. Did you like it? Did you not? I want to hear from you in the comments down below, and as always, be majestic.